So when I say that I got some things to talk about, I do. And this one is about the second pilot of Mighty Wolf of Power Rangers because earlier I was watching this show on YouTube and it's obvious to me that they shown a lot of things that were cut in the original airings of Day of the Dumpster of uh, what we got 31 years ago. So I'm going to break it down of what I know and what I saw in the second pilot episode. So it goes off like this. Two astronauts go to Mars and they see a space dumpster. And as soon as they open it, really end them, ended them coming out of it. Like you've seen in the original show. And then we cut to an Angel Grove Youth Center juice bar. Where we see Jason and Trini practicing karate. Well, Billy is teaching Kimberly about some type of science. And I'm guessing it's a reference from the bowling pilot episode. But they're inside of a juice bar now. Doc ends up showing up, riding a skateboard, try to mess up Jason's balance when Jason is practicing martial arts blindfolded. Up until Kimberly is about to serve everyone with chili, it ended up landing on Bulk and Skull by accident. And Bulk was very pissed off at Kimberly for accidentally spilling chili on their ice cream. And Bulk and Skull and the rest of the bullies, just like the pilot episode, the original pilot episode. And I gotta say, the fight scenes in this version is something. I don't want to say it's perfect either, but it's something. So, not only that, the fight breaks out. Kimberly, Zack, and Billy and them were trying not to hit the bullies in the face, but they were trying to avoid teaching the bullies a lesson. But even though Kimberly apologized to Bulk, but if I were him, I would be very mad too. Like, bro, you spilled chili all over my ice cream and all over my, my outfit. I would have lost it too. So, after that fight fiasco ended, they cut back to a scene where Rita is threatening to destroy the planet and just like the unaired pilot and from the Jew Ranger footage, they ended up showing her causing an earthquake. But once we cut to the rest of the Rangers, you're going to actually notice that it was like a small little earthquake and Billy was like, no, that was no earthquake. And so does the second earthquake happen. We then cut to a scene where Zonon and Alpha, and Zonon was telling Alpha, contact five teenagers with attitude, and just like the original episode, he zaps all of them into the command center, and just like how he was explaining to them the history of Rita Wilposa, and he gives them the power of the dinosaurs, Jason the T-Rex, Zack the Mastodon, Kimberly the Pterodactyl, Billy the Triceratops and training the Sabertooth Tiger and he gives them instructions of how to combine the Megazord and so after that nobody was interested but if you notice Jason and the second pilot and the original pilot was the only one that was really interesting and considered becoming a ranger so just like in the episode Rita tells Fister to create the Putty Patrollers and then we cut back to a scene where Jason was trying to tell the others, look, I, I really think we should become Rangers after that. But Zach and everybody didn't really want to hear it. Rita sends down the putties. And I'm going to tell you something. The fight scene with the putties were a lot better than the original airings of 31 years ago. And the reason why I said that is because they cut out so many moments where Jason and Zach and them were hitting putties in the head. And I really don't understand why they did that. It's beyond me. So I like this version a lot better than the original version a lot better than the original Aaron's. So for the most part, the fight scenes with the putties were a lot better in my opinion. The music were a lot different. It's not the hip hop keto that started off with Zach dancing and fighting and everything, but they cut straight to the raw Wiseman metal rock music fighting the putties. And after that, they struggle fighting them. They become rangers for the first time. And just like, once again, the original pilot, they cut out two scenes and training scene of Jason kicking a putty in the face, Zach giving 
uh, putty the uh, the fu or the attitude adjustment, and then he just jump flips off the building. And Trini she fights the putties, and then she back flips on top of the building. And she was using her blade blasters to, to shoot the putties, which is telling them to dance. So after that, we cut to a scene where Rita is telling Fester to create. You guessed it, Goten. And what's even interesting is that Goten was from the later episodes of season one when the Rangers were doing some type of charity when he tried to win the, uh, the Lion Trophy. So, instead of the Rangers fighting the monster on ground battles, they fought the monster in Zorb battles. And just like in that episode, it was knowing Jason called on the power of the dinosaurs. They all showed up. They were given different dialogues. And as soon as they were agreeing to fight the monster, it froze the Zords. Zack was given a, a different dialogue. And as soon as they ended up melting away from the snow, um, and Jason didn't say, we need the power sword now. It just showed up by itself. And Jason was like, let's cut this, whatever. And then they, they all destroyed the monster. Really gets mad after that. Zonar congratulates the Rangers on their first victory, telling them three secrets to becoming a Power Ranger and never reveal their secret identity to the world, even though they wore like the same colors in every episode. Just like in a pilot, Trini, I mean, Kimberly was joking about hair being tangled inside a helmet. Of course, she was joking. They all came together and said their dinosaur names and they all did the, the freeze frame, you know, like how they do in the classic episode. So, what is my overall thoughts on the second pilot of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? It's a lot different than the Unair pilot, but I think it's a tie. I like the Unair pilot because of the fight scenes and it was a lot different. But then, the second pilot, they used the Drew Ranger footage where they were morphing and they added their own American footage in the middle of it when they were morphing. I'm like, this is a lot different because if you remember, the director who directed these episodes from the second pilot of Dare the Dumpster, No Clowning Around, and Impressive Engagement, even the, I believe, is the third pilot is when they reshoot the, the real version of Dare the Dumpster, but on television-wise. So to me, I think I like the second pilot better than the TV version, because it show a lot of things that were cut from that version onto the TV version, in my opinion. Not only that, but they were given different dialogues and the fight scenes were a lot better, in my opinion, because remember, they were given blows to the face of the putties than the original show could have done, in my opinion. So, what are my thoughts on the second pilot episode? I thought it was different. I mean, I liked it better than the, the TV version that aired 31 years ago. So, yeah, I thought it was good, you know what I'm saying? It, it definitely brought back a lot of nostalgia. Um, considering the fact that Power Rangers is over 31 years old this year. So, of course, I was two years old when the show came out. So, um, yeah, that's my thoughts. What y'all thoughts on this? Link to the original video will be down below, and uh, I'm out of here.